Okay, recording this video for the second time, because the first time it was completely out of focus. Um, so, welcome back. Uh, as you may have noticed recently, I haven't posted any videos. Um, this is because I've been on holidays the whole time, so I should be able to produce videos a bit more regularly. So today I'm going to be doing a bit of a mail video, showing you what I've recently got in the post, and I'll be giving you a quick overview of everything, so let's get into it. Okay, so starting off, I have this new Runcam 3. I received this recently after my first Runcam 3 was faulty, as the battery only lasted like, you know, 30 seconds. It was pretty much unusable. Um, so this is my replacement. Runcam 3, which should work. So obviously you've got your Runcam 3 camera, a sync and charging cable, this cable which allows you to connect the camera feed directly into a VTX. You also get this this red wire if you want to power your your camera off something like the PDB. Obviously get your manual which is just basic stuff, how to turn it on, how to record, etc. Moving on, we have these Runcam Velcro straps. Now, this is a bit of a weird one because my last Runcam 3 came with four Velcro straps, two of which were this large size and two of which, which were a smaller size. The other thing to notice is that these ones are black and have some sort of rubbery coating on them. Uh, this isn't necessarily a bad thing, just something that's a bit different. Moving on, obviously you can't really use a camera such as a run cam without a mount. So this is the next item. This is a supposedly 3D printed mount for the run cam 3, which is a bit squishy as you can see. It should fit right in and with a little bit of force fits perfect. I actually got two of these mounts which brings me into my next item which is my new wizard. Uh, so this, I just got this wizard pretty recently. Uh, this is the original Ishin wizard, not the new S special version. It's got some pretty cool components and it flies really smooth. It's really easy to mount these Runcam GoPro Session cases onto the Wizard and so it will become my main filming quad for now. I plan on making a review video for this quad soon, so stick around for that. And that's about it. So let's move right along. The next thing on my list uh, these little vibration dampening standoffs for flight controllers. The reason why these are better than ordinary plastic standoffs are that these are made of rubber. And replacing regular standoffs with these rubber ones should result in a smoother flying quad as there will be less vibrations. Moving on. The next thing that has arrived in the mail heat shrink. This is good for joining cables together and other stuff which is great. Comes in five sizes and it was extremely cheap. I think it was only like five dollars. The next thing on the list is the Ishin Pro DVR. This allows you to record the FPV footage directly from your goggles or a ground station so you can play back your video and see what you actually got in the FPV goggles. Um, so that's that's about it. That's really... If you liked this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, Mangled Prop FPV, and leave a comment as to what you would like to see next time. As always, thanks for watching.